In this video, we're going to look at 3D coordinates. Now, it's 3D because as well as the X and the Y, we now have a Z as well. So if we look at this coordinate here for C, that the first number tells us our X, the second number our Y, and the last number our Z. So the point C is zero along the X axis, zero along the Y, and two up to C. So it's asked to work out A, D, E, the vertices of this cuboid. Well, we also know that B is 4 along the X, 6 along the Y, and none along the 0. So if it's 4 along the X, I think we can pretty safe to say that this distance here is 4. And if it's 6 along the Y, this is 6. So to work out A, well, A is going to be 4 along the X axis, as it starts here and goes here. But it's on the x-axis, so it's n no z y and no z. Okay, let's look at d. Well, d is directly above b, so it's going to be 4 along the x and 6 along the y. Now, if c here is uh, 0, 0, 2, it means it's 2 up. So that means the distance between B and D is 2 up. So it's going to be 4, 6, 2. Now lastly, E. Well, E is on the same level of, as C and D, so I think we can pretty confidently put a 2 in there. Now it's on the y-axis, and it is sort of in the same plane as B and D. So this distance here, 6, so the y value is 6, and as it's on the y-axis, it doesn't come towards D and B, the x point is 0. Okay. The question at the top says, what, are the co what is the coordinates of the vertex m? Here's m, right at the top of this square base pyramid. It tells me the length of one of the edges of the base is 10, and the height the pyramid from the very centre to the top is 12. Okay, well, let's put some of this information on. So I know this is 10, and I know all sides are 10 because it's square-based, and I know the distance sort of up to the top is 12. So I'm pretty confident that the co coordinates of M will be something, something 12, because that's the height of my pyramid. Now to find out the x and y values. Well, m is directly above the centre of this square. Well, if it's 10 by 10, the square, then halfway along either side is going to be 5. So it's going to be 5 along the x-axis and 5 along the y-axis to get to that middle point of the base. And as that's directly below m, we're going to have 5, 5, 12. 